hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel after a long time uh, so today we will discuss something uh, very important and interesting that is the ventilation of uh, transformer rooms so how much air we need to uh, to provide as, as a makeup air and to exhaust that air so we need to calculate that uh, ventilation air for uh, transformer room here you can see the one uh, transformer room with the uh, uh, air outlet and air inlet air inlet from the bottom and uh, outlet from the top so this will be the makeup air and this will be the exhaust air so this is the basic uh, ventilation system of that room uh, so now we will uh, discuss how to calculate the required airflow for that room it depends upon on the number of transformer it's uh, how much is power uh, how much is rating so uh, let's take a start here you can see First of all, you will need the ambient temperature of your area, like uh, uh, it's it's in uh, USA, Canada, India, Pakistan. It depends upon on the like your uh, location. Uh, so I am just uh, considering 82.4 for just for a uh, simple calculation for this project. Uh, and uh, this may be 140, 150 uh, depends upon on you uh, your location. So uh, and also you can uh, got this ambient temperature from the ashray. Uh, uh, ashray uh, uh, you mean the uh, what we call it uh, the temperature data uh, there's a lot of uh, countries and cities you can get it from here so uh, i will share these files also you can uh, download it and use these files later uh, uh, now <clears throat> second thing is the maximum uh, room transformer uh, in the transformer room temperature maximum what uh, will be the maximum room uh, temperature so the temperature doesn't in exceed from that one which is the plus 10 of that ambient temperature like if it's 100 it will be 110 if it's 120 it will be 130 so it will be 10 more than that of ambient temperature so where we uh, got this one when you go to the ASHRAE 2015 ASHRAE handbook design criteria here you will see electrical equipment in closed transformer equipment areas uh, in which the indoor temperature maximum and minimum what is the minimum uh, sorry the maximum temperature for the indoor uh, indoor temperature is the design outdoor plus 10 this is the maximum temperature uh, indoor temperature you want to maintain in that transformer room and 45 Fahrenheit is the minimum temperature for the transformer. You cannot decrease uh, that temperature from 45 Fahrenheit. I mean the room temperature. So this is also a 10 maximum allowed temperature, which is 10. 10 of uh, we already discussed that one. And in this case, we have one number of transformer, and the transformer, uh, I mean the transformer power is 70, 75 PV. It's not rating. It's a 75 PV is the power. Where we got this one, it depends upon on your uh, like uh, like room. If the room have 75 kV, 100 kV, and there are two, three, or four, it depends upon on your requirement. So let's take uh, let's go to the uh, manufacturer. Uh, I got it from the manufacturer. We are using it for in uh, in one of our project, which is 75 kV. Uh, this is a uh, meaning that wall. Volt, uh, the power of uh, the tra transformer which is 75 kva and 98.60 is the efficiency of their transformer so keep it keep these two numbers in mind and let's go to uh, the calculation so you will put the 75 kva like i have one transformer in room 75 kva and second thing is power factor uh, you will know about the power factor uh, let's go to the power factor what is power factor power factor is means to assess the insulation of transformer the most common number that is referenced for acceptable insulation is 0.5 percent power factor which represents circular coil power transformer design in uh, in our case we have a circular power transformer design and with the uh, with the oil field and its power factor is 0.5 and if you have a different type of transformer you can go to the manufacturer catalog and you will find that power factor in these criteria so let's go back to the uh, calculation uh, 
So we got these two numbers uh, and third number is a transformer efficiency. We got it from the manufacturer also. And now the transformer rating, which is the, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, so this transformer power multiplied by the power factor, you will get the transformer rating. And the second part is the calculation. Calculation, it will calculate the heat loss. What is the heat loss? Heat loss, basically the efficiency, like uh, what we call it. If, if it's 75 kVA transformer, it will not deliver its whole uh, power 75 kVA. It, there may be a, some losses which will be converted into heat. So that heat is 765 watt or 0.77 kilowatt. Calculate it automatically or you can, uh, you can learn that how to calculate the number of transformer. And this is the, uh, we call it the transformer rating into uh, the efficiency minus one. So you will get the uh, heat loss. And now total dissipation. Total dissipation have a simple formula for the sensible heat we use. Normally it's 1.08 CFM into temperature rise. You know, the temperature rise is 10 and CFM for the CFM we will uh, arrange this this formula to uh, calculate the CFM so basically this formula is Q is equal to 1.08 into CFM into 10 uh, sorry into delta T which is the temperature rise so Q is equal to 1.08 CFM into delta T so you will put these values and you will get your answer in CFM you can arrange this formula uh, according to uh, like uh, let me explain to you if q is equal to 1.08 into uh, cfm into delta t this is the formula so if we use it for cfm then cfm equal to q divided by 1.08 into uh, delta T. So you you can you can calculate CFM by arranging this formula, which is already did in this Excel sheet. You can just put your values and you'll get these uh, all of them. Now the required airflow for that room is 242 CFM. We need 242 CFM as a fresh air and exhaust. So to ventilate that uh, the transformer room, and you can add this. Uh, I am using a one number of fan of 242 with 0.5. I mean that uh, on the fan rating, and one is the static pressure, or maybe it's, it depends on the unit requirement on ducting. If there is too much ducting, and depends on the external static pressure. So this is the basic calculation of uh, transformer room uh, I, ho I hope you liked it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment thank you i will share these files don't worry